Hello, welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 11, HTML5 Geolocation API, Part 1, brought to you by Angpro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the HTML5 Geolocation API. So, what is Geolocation API? Uh, the HTML Geolocation API is used to get the geographical position of a user. So, if I wish to get the current position of a user, then I can achieve that with the help of this API, that is Geolocation API. And keep in mind the second sentence it means a lot. The position is not available unless the user approves it. So we are going to understand this sentence when we code in Visual Studio and when you run the application at that point of time I am going to explain you this part of the sentence, that is this line that is the position is not available unless the user approves it. And the geolocation is more accurate. I, I repeat this API, geolocation API, it's more accurate for devices with the GPS like smartphones etc. And coming to the browser support, okay, this API, Geolocation API is supported in these browsers, Chrome, Internet Explorer, or uh, Firefox, Safari, and Opera. And what are the numbers we have specified here? Above these versions, okay, we can make use of this API. Okay, and right now what we are going to do in this session is we are going to fetch the current position of a user okay, in the terms of longitude and latitude. Here, the, here is the code for that and below code it returns latitude and longitude of the user's position. So without wasting much time let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you a demo of it. It's very simple. So what I'll do is let me jump into Visual Studio code and now what I can do is let me first let me create a button. So the button name is so let me go back and let me explain you. So the button name is, it's very simple, I have to give, I have to give a value to the button so what I'll do is uh, click me to get the current details. Click me to get the current details. So button on click button on click we are going to execute a function so let me name the function as get current location so this is the function get current location okay and now once I click this button my objective is I need to get the longitude and latitude so I have to push that result inside a due element so let me take so let me take a due element so inside the due element let me add an id so the id is my or let me give it as result so when i click the button i'll get the longitude and latitude and i'm pushing that details inside the div so here let me take a script so script what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to identify okay um, the div by its id and i'm trying to push the result inside it so what i'll do is var i'm going to tell like it's x the variable name is x okay uh, get element document dot document dot get element by id so the id is the result let me copy this and let me paste it here and now I'm having that div okay in this x variable so now what I need to do is I need to define a function okay when I click on this when I execute when I click on the button this function has to get executed so let me write a definition to that function so how do I define a function with the help of this function keyword and let me copy the function name from here itself just to avoid the mistakes so here is my function control s so now let me check like if okay navigator dot geolocation if navigator dot geolocation okay so I'll, I'm going to explain you what is this navigator dot geolocation when we code right now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, just show you how to get the coordinates that is latitude and longitude after that I'm going to explain you the, this piece of code so if this is available navigator dot geolocation is available so what I need to do is I need to call the navigator okay then I need to call the geolocation then I'm going to tell like get current position method so to that I'm going to pass another function that is show current position okay I'm going to show the current position I'm going to call this method
this is the method what I'm trying to call or execute okay and let me end up with semicolon and after that I need to tell like if the browser is not supporting this geolocation API I have to tell like um, this x dot in the sense that div dot I have to pass a text to that div telling like inner HTML is equal to I'm going to tell like geolocation it's not supported by the browser geo location is not supported by the browser okay this is what I'm trying to tell like if this navigator.geolocation is supported by the browser this API is supported by the browser then okay it's going to give the current position okay else it's going to tell like geolocation is not supported by the browser now what we have to do other important thing is I have to write a definition to this function so how do I write it so let me go back here and let me define a function the function name is okay show current position let me copy this paste it here so I'm going to pass a position object position so I'm going to tell like x dot inner HTML is equal to so first let me pass a latitude okay latitude so I'm going to like position dot I'm going to tell this chords okay position dot chords I'm going to explain you what is this chords everything once I complete the code it's latitude okay it's latitude okay next what I need to do is I need to get the longitude so what I'll do is again uh, I'm going to add this part the break line okay then I'm going to tell like mm, longitude okay I'm going to tell that longitude then I'm going to again again I need to write this code that is position dot chords instead of that I need to tell like it's longitude not the latitude now longitude okay let me end up with semicolon so here is my piece of code where I can fetch okay the current longitude and uh, latitude coordinates here is the piece of code for that so now what I need to do is I need to push this page to the browser so I, how do I push I should navigate to the folder where I saved it and when I double click on that it's going to open this in the Chrome browser so here I have a button telling like get the current details now when I click on that okay it's asking me know your location so we want this HTML file the request sent to the HTML file to allow to fetch the current position so that's the meaning of this sentence okay the position is not available unless the user approves it so I'm not going to get the position if I if I close this now I'm not going to get the position when I click again let me refresh it now when I click you can observe where it's asking me know your know your location now when I click allow it's going to give me the latitude and the longitude of my location you can observe very clearly again I'll refresh again when I click on this it's asking me to allow so I'm going to get the current longitude and latitude positions okay this is for this piece of code okay um, this piece of code is going to return us the longitude and latitude of the current position of the current browser or the user position so let me explain the piece of code what I've written here okay so first uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to uh, check uh, if the geolocation is supported in my browser I'm, I'm telling you what I'm trying to do in my descriptors first let me come from here I'm trying to okay identify this element with the help of this ID and I'm storing that in the X variable that is the first step second step is I'm having this function so what I'm trying to do in this function is first I'm uh, I'm trying to check uh, if the geolocation is supported by the browser if the geolocation is supported then what we have to do is we have to run the get current position method okay if this is not supported we have to display this error message telling like geolocation is not supported by the browser okay and if uh, the current get current position I repeat if the get current position is successful it returns a coordinates object to the function specified in the parameter if this is supported by the browser then what it's going to do is it is going to uh, return a coordinate object okay coordinate object to this show current position method okay and 
the show position current show current position method okay outputs the longitude and the latitude okay so now what i'll do is let me jump back to presentation and let me go to the next slide here you can observe here the get current position method what we are using here okay it returns an object on success in the sense if this get current position is supported by the browser it's going to return an object okay the latitude longitude and accuracy properties are always returned fine so i repeat the what we are trying to access right now is we are trying to access the latitude longitude and we are not trying to access the accuracy property so let me go back and let me try to install can i access the latitude and the longitude so again i want to do like this break line then i'm going to tell like accuracy okay accuracy so i'm going to tell like position dot coordinates dot its accuracy so let me check out the spelling there yes it's small a okay do control s now let me go back to my browser and let me refresh now when i click on the button i have to allow so you're getting accuracy some number so by default i repeat by default okay when i call this get current position method okay it's going to return three things okay latitude longitude and accuracy properties are always returned but what about altitude okay altitude is returned only if it is available okay of the current position what we are getting okay apart from that we have some other properties like altitude accuracy and it's also returned if it if it if it is available from the current position similarly adding speed and time stamp okay and now let me uh, call the time speed let me check out the speed if it is it available with my location or not so control c I'm going to paste it here so let me paste it it's not accuracy it is speed and again let me call your control s let me go back and let me refresh and again when i click on that i'm allowing it i'm getting the speed null so right now to my position okay to my position what i'm accessing i don't have the speed property value available so i'm getting it as null okay this is how you can fetch the current details of a user okay of the browser of the user with the help in the form of longitude and latitude so this is what we learned in this session so suppose what i'll do is i'm going to execute this uh, uh, html in my internet explorer below 9 version so let us see what's going to happen so let me go here or let me go to the browser so i'm going to open with or open with uh, internet explorer let me check out whether it's going to support or not okay so i'm asking ask me later allow the block content when i click on that okay hello once apps want to use your location yes so right now we are getting this you can observe very clearly because this internet explorer version right now is let me check out it's 11 so we get getting this accuracy and everything but if i change it to 9 do i get it yes i'm getting it again and now if i change it to something else like if i change it to 7 then now when i click on that you can observe it's telling like geolocation is not supported by the browser so the geolocation api it is available from the internet explorer version 9 and above not below that when when i try to access with the below version i'll get a error message telling like okay uh, error message telling like geolocation is not supported by the browser this is okay like what what do you mean by browser support okay so what we learned in this session we learned in this session like how to access how to get the latitude and longitude of the current position and also we learned some of the uh, properties of the coordinates like speed time stamp and latitude and longitude and we are going to get these things for sure but the rest of them are optional if they are available from the current location it's going to return or else not and also we learned like what is browser support so finally thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to our youtube channel anchor training and also like our facebook page visiting this url you can also follow us on twitter for further reference refa website we are on linkedin too last but not the least please don't forget to give the feedback thank you have a great day